hello, hello, welcome to Heartbeat Num Part 1. My name is Rome. Um, and I'm resetting my YouTube channel but because it was a hot mess before. Like, it was really bad because I, I kind of forgot where I was with everything. I didn't like what I was doing, you know? So, here we are. And, yeah, we'll go with plain and simple. Because I'm colorblind and I'm not going to play around with that. And, yeah, we'll keep the audio sound on. Normal. Yes. In this world, roam both humans and mogwai. One born of the stars and other born from the earth. Two, fi two forces fought to stake claim over the land until a human ambassador stepped forth. The Mogwai, moved by kindness, agreed to compromise with the humans. Since then, Mogwai sought for distinct human akin to the old ambassador to become conjurers. A conjurer and their Mogwai partner, can this camaraderie withstand the test of time? Eve? Eve? Are you alright? This is way too much inventory. My arms are super numb. I offered to help you now. Aw, oh, Klein, you don't have to. I can't rely on you for everything. And yet, here we are. <laughs> Besides, you're so tiny. These boxes would straight up smush you. Hmm. Is that what you think? Just saying. Ahem. Come now. Let us focus on more important matters. Your grandfather wrote, wrote you up a shopping list. Here you go. Take care not to wrinkle it. Got a shopping list from Klein. Right. The shelving repairs, huh? That's not so bad. We can get all this stuff down south in, at Solberg. Yes, right past the Corona Woods. I wonder if, it'll be, if it's safe today. I just hope you haven't forgotten the combat training. It's only a short walk down, but we should be wary at all, all the same. Aw, you worry too much, Klein. Sorry, you know how ferals can get, especially up here in the mountains. It's okay. It should be no problem with the both of us together. Alright, let us make haste then. Klein, join the party! Wow, you got all that junk cleared so fast. You're really something, Klein. <sighs> You're quite welcome, Eve. <laughs> I don't know why you even offered my room up as the store store as the store storage closet. Oh well. You can't remedy clutter with more clutter. <sighs> Guess it doesn't matter now. What was that? Doesn't matter. Meow. I said now, humbug Eve. We have no time for this foolish, for such foolishness. We must make, do this quick. We wouldn't want to get caught in the woods for too long. I suggest wearing a coat. It's for scout. I've already gone ahead and prepared one for you by the shirt rack. If you get confused or lost, press chatter on the menu to talk to me. Thanks, Klein. I'd be lost without you. Worry not. It is my duty to serve, after all. Wait, hold on. Text? Looks like it's countywide alert. Don't get distracted now. You can check the mail through the menu later. Alright, alright. We're tucking at my skirt. Those claws are crazy sharp, you know. <laughs> Fun fact, I have a cat who looks identical to Klein. Her name is Lily. She has a certain, um, male object. Like, a um, fur pattern on her arm. And I like to bully her about it. Did you bring your staff as well? You wouldn't be able to fend off Farrah Mogwai without it. I, uh, yeah, I have it right here, yep. <laughs> Keep it safe. You know it belonged to your great-grandmother. <laughs> it'd be hard to lose this thing. It's a pretty huge climb. Right, right. I suppose it is. Well, don't forget your grandfa to, w to tell your grandfather goodbye. It's only polite. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you want me to take the lead, just press Q. I'll keep that in mind. I... Yeah. Okay, so... Over here. Check the mail. In 
cracked and Mogwai have been reportedly spotted with red eyes. A, a con... A con... Ta a con I'm not gonna try that word. I'm sorry. I'm just... I would like to preface I'm dyslexic. So that... Some things are just hard. Is suspected to be the cause. A contagion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. A contagion is suspected to be the cause. Keep all friendly Mogwais indoors. And while we're here, uh... Mm. Grandfather? Hello. Hey Gramps, we're leaving. We'll try and be back before sundown. You're finally awake, huh? Alright, have this item li You have the, light the item list with you? Oh my god, I can't speak. Yep, all accounted for. Hmm, is it really alright for you to be going off on your own? The woods can be real dangerous for a child like you, Eve. Ahem. Eve is 22, with a job. Here. Hey, uh, yes. Oh, right, right. My grandkid's grown up so fast. Well, if you're heading out now, here, take some of these. Got some sweet loot from Grandpa. All right. Oh, wow, thanks, Gramps. Fresh cupcakes this time. That's free for now. But don't go thinking I'm going easy on you just because you're my grandkid. Hey, there's nothing wrong with getting grandkid perks. When your work ethic gets better, maybe then. Make sure to take care of her, Klein. Of course, it is my sworn duty to keep Eve safe. You better. I promised her mother I'd keep her out of trouble in harm's way. But, as always, that's proven to be quite a challenge, eh? We'll be okay this time, I promise. Now let's get out of here, Klein. Stay safe, you hear? No more petting strange dogs, I mean that. Honestly, mood. I get- whenever I see an animal, like a cat or a dog, I'm just like, oh no. I got distracted once by seeing a snake. I was like, oh. I love all animals, even if they're the very much non-pettable kind. Huh? Is that a fairy mogwa? What's it doing so close to Sunwitch? Does it want something? Eve, watch out. Oh, it stole from us. Hey, it took our stuff. The cupcakes. We can't let this thief go. Come, Eve, we must teach you to listen. Okay. <laughs> I know it's been a while since our last battle. So let's brush up on things again, shall we? Pulse refers to your willpower to fight. Without a pulse, you can't keep fighting. Beat is the magic flowing through you. With a beat, without a beat, there is no magic. And most importantly, there is heart. Heart is unique to conjurers like you. Oh, I accidentally skipped all that. I am so sorry. I accidentally held the space button. Heart is a pact of magic. Our is a result as partners. Now let's. Now then, let us begin. First, just guard. Fight. Guard. Guard. See? Fighting defensively is still fighting. As long as we fight on, our, heart will f our hearts will flourish. Attacking, of course, has the same effect. Now, I will seal your defensive attacks. You will be left vulnerable, but trust me. Go ahead and attack. Follow your might. Follow Very good. Now we'll unseal our magic. As a light mogwai, I specialize at healing. And if you need my support, direct me to your aid. No matter what you choose, my heart beats with yours. Let's fight. Attack. Oh. <clears throat> huh? It transformed? Huh. This one's simply taunting us. Let's go back to Heart's magic. He is unlocking your strongest spells. Humans will come diff in different magical flavors, but conjurers are the only humans who can sink hearts with mogs. Now, I have an item with me that can heal a heart. We will heal together and our hearts will be as one. Try this now. I'll seal everything but your magic. 
Believe in yourself. Follow your heart, Eve. Meteor Rush. Ba bam. Wonderful work, Eve, as expected of my conjure. You know, ferals can attack humans any time. Us Mogwire are creatures of emotion after all. Simple words and reason are ignored by angry Mogwai, and thus at times, using force is necessary. Mogwai do not stop fighting until one gives up. Heck yeah, we're level two, baby. And we got our cupcakes back. Such a rush. I haven't fought in a long time. Are you alrighty? We should have done stretch exercises before proceeding. No, no, it's not that. I just kind of feel bad for it. Don't feel so glum. You know what ha that does to me. Besides, it was for a Mogwai. Would you rather attack a village? I guess not. It's your duty as a conjurer, after all. You must defend your town. That's true. But do we really have to hurt him like that? A smoke wire hardy will take more than a brief spar to hurt us. Think of it like those human wrestling matches you fancy on that glowing box at home. Huh, you're right. Okay, okay, I'll keep my chin up. Also, I, I well, apologize. I really like, uh, grinding in games. Because I like to, um, come in and I like to be the boss. I want to be the one bosses here. Also, sorry, I'm just checking out my room. I'm only nine minutes in. Heck yeah. Okay, get over here. We got fruity do you on and a common sunflower. Do you want found? Got some old bones. <laughs> prepare your s prepare to pay for your misdeeds, you nasty ferals. Oh, butternut squash. Darn things got away. Whoa, that cluster looked way better than the usual ones. Are you okay, man? Oh, I'm fine, dear. I'm guessing your son but just conjure, right? Yep, that's me. How'd you know? Oh, wonderful. Just moved here. My name's... The name's Troy. Nice to meet you. As a seasoned, seasoned conjurer myself, I can tell when someone's conjurer too, Ho -ho. Besides, it was easy to tell with that cat Sith brought trotting next to you. Klein Grimory, at your service. I'm Eve's partner in magic. <laughs> oh yeah, duh. About time, Sunwitch got another conjurer. Ever since the old one passed on and all, 
She was a special conjurer, you know? Had three mogs and everything. Way more than a normal conjurer can handle. Boy, was she real something. Yeah, I'm nothing like her. You've got your own path, and you don't sell yourself short now. Oh, I didn't mean like that. I missed that. Bucci. As a conjurer, you must know that it is our duty to protect all of Solemn's residents. Well, this little fella is the only one to hatch out of their egg clutch, you see. But I've already got my hands full taking care of both my mogs and my bad knees. Wait, I get to keep it? Of course, this little rascal is a special bird. I need to stop holding this space button. This one's a mere kitten. I can't even talk. What use is it to us? Cool, a pet for conjurers. What? Don't you already have a pet back home yet? Yeah, but out here at Gramps. But yeah, not yeah, but not here at Gramps. We can take it with us. Coin, please. Fine. But it's your responsibility, you understand, Eve? I'll take it on walks, I'll clean up after it, and all that. I'm sure you'll get along. I'm I had one when I was your age too. So many fond memories. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Hmm. What should I name it? Let's name it Mal. Sounds good. Pum Pumpook Pumpookuchi. Pumpookuchi. Alright, Mal it is then. Mind if I give you a little head pat? Ouch, cute, but those feelers are super fr prickly, aren't they? Carefully, Solomon's animals are no joke. Oh, fooey. I'd say you'd worry more about those red-eyed clusters that than, than this young one. Oh, right, the cluster from before. Yep, they were trying to eat Mal here just a little while ago. In that case, we should get rid of the grounds of rid the grounds of aggressive enemies, I bet. the spirit. When you're done showing the cluster whose boss, come talk to me. Don't worry. Mal will beat that cluster up for you. Huh? <laughs> he has no idea what's going on. But he's, you know what? He's happy to be here. In beautiful, beautiful spirit. Couldn't leave without giving Zhang a hug. Don't worry. I'll be fine now. <laughs> Mal's got a bit of Zang's fur on their face there. Don't worry, we didn't think you were so sticky, Mal. Um, he's just so little. Mal, join the party. Maybe? He doesn't know what's going on. He's just living his best life. You know, I'm a firm believer in consistently saving. Hey, be careful now, it's dangerous. <laughs> he transforms! Whoa, they transformed into Troy's mom, no less. Mal is a very good top tier best boy. I don't care if they don't remember their best name.
The music of this game is just so wonderful. Wow, Mogwai! What's that? We should look around the area. Someone might need our help. Here. I don't remember this being here last time. Ah, uh, this might be due to the reports of those red-eyed clusters. Red -eyed clusters. So what do we do now? We can't leave the Gramps hanging. Before enough, there must be a switch somewhere. The little door wasn't here before either. You know I can't fit through here unless you're making fun of me for being short again. Not the intention this time. I'm pressing. Q I'm saying press Q to switch to me so I can investigate. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it isn't Q? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my god, we're only like one and two away. Are you kidding me? Um, hold still, hold still. You don't want these photos to be a blurry, do you? Are you okay, miss? What's the the screen? Wait, a cat's it? Maybe they're in the Corona Woods now? 
This footage will be vital for my upcoming web mockumentary. Now I can finally be net famous and get the accolades. All of them. Look at look straight into the camera now. I can't Eve. Please do something. Uh, sorry to tag in, but that little boy is my partner. Partner? With a cat sip? How traditional. Back in the old, old days, they called them familiars, you know? Um, this particular mogwai follows the human face, which means this mogwai's conjurer is a girl. What the heck? I'm right here. Mm -hmm. It's a cat sith. It's definitely a healer type mogwai, too. Look at her polite little pawsies, leading everyone back into perfect health. <laughs> Wait, don't touch my paws without asking. That's impolite, miss. Oh, you're a busy little kitty, aren't you? All right, I'll stop. I'll... All right, all right, I'll stop. You see, I've always had a... wanted a mog of my hair, very own, but... These ones around here are always feral, and they don't want anything to do with humans. <laughs> Practically untamable, but still cute enough to snack picks up. This girl wants to be conjured? How preposterous. Huh? Is something wrong, Katzen? Nothing. And it's Klein, not Katzen. Aw, what a cute name. Did your conjurer give that to you? It suits you. No, of course not. No took no part of naming me. So not name Mogwai. We're partners. It's not like I own Klein or anything. Something like that? That'd be weird. It would be wrong. Well then, Eve Klein, as an apology, you should come visit me down in Salberg. You can help me revise research notes all these years and still got and I still got things wrong. Sorry if I came off that strongly, but yeah, I'd be down for anything. Sure. We don't have time to loiter, we promise to finish an errand quickly. When you're done with your little errand, you should drop by as research material. Huh? Blinking for soup? <laughs> CD found. Totally not ball bowling for soup. I mean, totally not. Bowling for soup? Never heard of it. the two to Nuki from earlier. Good Eve. She's definitely a dead to Nuki. Master pranksters and swindlers. All of them. For real? I've never seen any Mogwai from the den before, besides you, I mean. That's because when a Mogwai leaves the den, they can never go back. Oh, right. It was a tough decision for you, Klein. To stay here, I mean. No. What? No, I chose here to live with your great-grandmother on my own accord. How sweet. You guys must have been real close, huh? Yes. That's how packs are made. Even you know that, Eve. Look, let's just hurry and talk to that particular mobile and continue on. 
We have to make sure it's not, she's not causing any trouble for Patsy. Capricorn's horoscope for the day? Do you believe? Watch this guy. It's the lucky numbers 11, 5, 16, 125, and 18. Look out, Capricorn. Good morning, human. Having fun buying my cousins? Bullying my cousins on this beautiful day? What? Those were your cousins? Is this a boss fight or. Haha, <laughs> what? You're funny. Eve, remember that I told you about Tanuki and their pranks? The Den Tanuki are no different. I don't want to assume like that. I mean, she's not even feral. Oh, you can tell. So you can tell. I mean, I already knew you could. But I've heard you two whispering up there. You ain't, y'all ain't, you ain't very good whispers. But, yep, I'm not from around these parts. I came to sightsee. You know how it is. Cuz, I've sent mobs with tons of cash they ain't using for nothing. None of none of the tanu Tanuki back home have been thought about selling stuff here like I got. Well, you're selling from the den? That's so cool. Nah, the den's full of garbage. All my stocks are handmade and primo. I promise. See, everyone knows the key to a mog's health is their feelings, right? So I sell things that make both humans and mogwai feel oh, alike feel like a million yuan. I guarantee that you won't be able to find these things in, in any regular human shop. Abstract concepts can't be sold. Surely Tanuki is trying to swindle us. A Tanuki Mogwai can transform the shapes of things, right? But no one ever thought about transforming the abstract into something tangible. Until now. My transformation powers are much stronger than any of my outside cousins. A dead Mogwai such as yourself should know that. Eve, are you really going to trust this Mog? Pedal your pranks elsewhere. Your human should at least get a vote in. Uh, what was your name again? I'm Eve, and this here is Klein. You don't seem like a bad mogwai to me. Like bad mog to me. She's from the den, Eve. Who knows if we can trust her? I'll take a, I'll take I'll take a kind human's opinion over a surly cat's sex anyways. Now then, shopkeep is, is a long name. How about can you just call me Shep? What? Who mentioned shopkeep? And where did where did it say shopkeep anywhere? Let me prove it to you nicely, alrighty? Check my wares out. Satisfaction guaranteed. Let's check your items, because we actually need items. And 10 kit picks. Come again, okay? Your money's always welcome here, cuz. And her door is locked right now. Solberg. It's been so long since I've been here. I miss going out to the beach with Gramps. Now, Eve, we didn't come here to get in our sand in our paws, did we? We have a job to do. Let's head to the shop and pick up the par pick up the parcel as soon as we can. We can't mess around the beach for a few measly for f can we mess around in the beach for a few measly minutes? What is it with you humans in the sea? I'll never understand that. Coming through, coming through. I've got picture I have photos of cute mom boy to develop. <laughs> She's so weird, I love her. Oh, she jumped that high? She must re she really jumped that high, Klein. Oh, with those skills, perhaps I could train her to be my conjurer instead. Hey. I'm just teasing. I've never been Eve. Let's continue on, shall we? And that does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me in my rambling nonsense. And I genuinely hope to hear from you all soon. Have a good one.